<clears throat> hey guys, uh, Zach from GI Gaming, and I'm going to uh, talk about archery. And, uh, well, the thing is, is that a lot of people, or a lot of kids, get this kind of wrong, and it looks like they're fucking stupid when they do it at the archery range. So I'm just going to show you some tips about stuff, and usually I will go over safety, but they already got all that stuff down, like with checking the arrow and seeing if there's any cr cracks, and then doing the bending test, or when you have your, uh, your finger tabs and your uh, arm guard. But no, what I'm talking about is actually knocking the arrow, which is uh, doing that. Putting the arrow on the on um, the arrow rest, and then your first anchor point. And after that, you know the shooting and all. So, and to be honest, they don't get that right. I mean, it takes them a couple minutes for them to actually knock the arrow, for them to actually do that. And they never get the right anchor point or the same anchor point, and archery is all about consistency. But once they do get the right anchor point, they don't shoot it right. They don't shoot it the way I just did, which is let your fingers go back and relax them. Because what they do is a static release. Or they just shoot it without the finger tab and it shoots straight up. Actually, no, that's still not a static release. I still went back like this. And I'm used to that. I'm used to going back like this, which is what you're supposed to do. Which is what you're supposed to do. But, uh. No. So I'm just going to teach you guys how to do a couple things for you guys, you gamers out there. To not look like a dumbass when you guys go out in the archery range. And start, you hold the arrow. Actually, not you don't have to do this, but the easiest way is to hold the arrow towards the base so you can actually get a better grip at it when you knock it. And then what I do is I rest the actual arrow string on my uh, arrow on my uh, arm guard so it won't go anywhere. And then I just do this. I move it like that and let go. That's my way of knocking an arrow. Next thing is to finger placement, which the finger tabs. Well, you can't really see with this right here, but you put the arrow string on the first pads of your fingers. But you use a finger tab or a glove. And the reason for that is that you want to make the arrow string roll off your fingers. You know, just relax. So I have a smooth exit and all that stuff. And the next thing is grabbing the bow. You don't grab it, you grasp it. And what I mean about grasping is that you let all the pressure go to the actual palm of your finger and on your uh, palm of your hand. Let all the pressure go there because if you grab it, you're going to move it left and right. And it's the same goes to a gun. Yeah, my dog's over there. But, uh, you don't grab it, you grasp it. You let all the pressure go to the base of the palm right here where your thumb and index is. You don't do that like you see in freaking Battlefield. No, you don't do that. That's kind of stupid. Right? You actually, what I do is I let my uh, index touch my, th my thumb. I'm not even do anything. But then again, if you grab it like I just did it, you'll get bow shock, which is vibration, straight from the bowstring all the way to your hand. That's why you don't grab it, you grasp it. Then it'll move around, so. Another thing about uh, actual form, you keep your feet actual uh, shoulder width, aim down and you push, and then you pull. All right. I don't want to actually kind of hit my thumb on my nose, but but once you do that, you you get you wait till your middle finger touches your uh, your 
edge of your uh, mouth, right? And once you do that, you release, and then you pull back some more until you hit the tip of your, your ear. So. Another thing is that if you're using a sight, your anchor point's going to be your nose. So once that uh, once that bow string hits your nose, you release. If you're using a sight, I'm not using the sight, so it goes all the way right here. And you use both of your eyes when you're not using the sight. You don't use one; you use both. With the sight, you use your you use one. Another thing is that your bow arm, this one right here, with the arm guard, you bent it a little bit. So it won't hit the arm guard. Because if it goes straight, that bow string's going to hit you, and it's going to hurt really bad. So, what else? Um, oh yeah, like when you're done, you don't set your bow on the ground. You always set your bow on your on your shoe. It's a little thing my grandpa told me, but uh protects the bow itself and uh and also dry fire. You never release your bow string if there's no air on it because it will screw up your your bow and all. Mostly the release is going to be your key thing because most likely you're going to get the anchor point and all that stuff straight but your release is going to be crap and you'll know when your release is crap is when you hear that arrow vibrate down the range like it makes a buzzing sound you don't want that and as I said you relax your fingers and you move back like that. Your hand has to be in the same plane as the arrow, or perpendicular to the arrow path. You guys want to be really, uh, really precise. And the bowstring just slapped me, so it hurts. Trust me on that. So. Push, pull, go to your anchor point, release, do that. But you keep your eye on the target at all times. So, my last arrow. I'm not as, as exciting as I am because it's kind of morning, so I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm just laboring with this shit. Nope, alright. See ya.